Installing a sport bar on my new Toyota Tacoma. Can't wait to get this thing on. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. And that's right, today I'm going to be installing the Sport Bar on my 2021 Toyota Tacoma. Now, I did have this one on my other truck. I liked it so much that I decided to carry it over to this truck. Going to be a little bit of a change to it. We'll get to that later on. But for now, I do have it down. If you recall, I did have it sitting up there on the lift. Had somebody help me sit it down on the truck. It's not fastened down or anything, it's just sitting there. And I do have a new method of fastening it to the track bars as well. But first, I have to run the wire for the third brake light there down and get it connected into the tail light. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. What that means is just loosening the track over here a little bit so I can tuck the wire up behind, bleh, behind here uh, because there is a little bit of a gap there. And then I can run it down in this area behind everything and splice it into the third brake light on the uh, tail light back here. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll pick up with uh, fastening it down to the truck. I will show you which wire to tap into in case you're looking to do that. It got everything wired up. Let's give you a little bit of an update. Here is the ground and you may notice I did sand it a little bit around the hole so I have contact with the metal and not paint. That's important. Um, down here is the wiring from the truck. We have it spliced in under here for the power for the third brake light up there on the sport bar. And down here we did our splice and that works well. So everything is looking good. Now all I have to do is put everything back together and then go ahead and mount the tail bar or the sport bar itself. Uh, to do that, there's gonna be bolts behind the holes. I'll leave a complete install video link down below from when I did this before. I don't wanna redo everything I've already done as far as the video goes. Uh, it did go smoother this time, I will say. Um, I don't know, probably experience. Um, this is only the second time, I think, that I've ever used a wire splice on anything. And I gotta say, I highly recommend it. Makes things much easier than cutting wires, putting them together, taping them up, or shrink taping them, or whatever you choose to do for that. Uh, I do like the wire splices better. I will tape up the uh, splice itself, put tape over it just to give it a little more protection, but uh, I think it came out pretty well. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, like I said, fasten everything back down. Um, I do have a little system I'm gonna try for that. I'll show you, matter of fact, I'll show you right now, what I had done before is I needed to take up some space uh, on the, the sport bar. You can see there's a gap between the bar itself right here and the track that I'm gonna bolt it to. So if I just bolted it down, it would push out the edges and it would overhang the side of the truck. I don't want that. If I have to have an overhang, I would rather it would be inside the truck, you know, like right here than uh, outside the truck as far as this edge goes. So that means that I have to take up space between the bolt that I'll put in the track and this gap that I'm gonna have. To do that, I searched the web, I came up with something, and these are called, I don't even know what they're called. I call them U washers or channel washers, something like that, what do they call them? Uh, they call them steel body shims. Okay, well that works too. And the way they're gonna work, you can see, it's like a washer with a, a square washer with a slot in the end. I'll be able to stack these in the space that I have to take up the room that I need. Now before what I had done, I use washers, many, many washers. Um, that was a drag because trying to put those on and get it bolted up, it was just very cumbersome. Now I can go ahead, put the bolt in, get a nut on the other side, and then take up the gap with these and tighten it down. And it should work pretty well. Again, I will show you what it looks like once I'm all done. I'm just gonna slip these in. You'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But it's a fantastic way, I think, to be able to take up space 
uh, when you have a gap that you don't want to pull into, if that makes any sense. So let me go ahead, I'll get it on, then I'll come back on and show you what I've done. Again, there will be a link down below um, to the original install on the Voodoo Blue truck if you want to take a look at that. Okay, to go ahead and secure the sport bar down, before I do that, you want to make sure that you get it aligned up, or aligned rather, where you want it. I'm running the edge of the bar itself, the flange on the bottom, trying to get it even with this front part of the truck. Uh, that's how I did the other one, and that's how I like it. So that's what I'm going to do. I want to pay particular attention to how far out we bow on the edges. I want it lined up like it is right now. So I'll have to put the proper amount of spacers in here to take up the space so it doesn't pull out when I tighten it down. As far as the bolts I'm using, uh, just any bolt that fits in there. I did notch a washer. You can see this washer has a notch on each side. That's so it'll fit in the track. I can slide it on down and then put a nut on the other end of it once I get the spacers in between. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get it all fastened up, hopefully. And I'll show you what I mean by these spacers here in the end once I have it all tightened up. All right, got it all fastened down. I don't mind saying it took me about eh, two hours. It was a pain in the arse. So let's take a look. You can see it's bolted down the side. My spacers are in between the silver pieces. We'll have to paint those. And the bolts will need a repainting, of course, because they're from the last install and they got all mucked up. You can see right there. And then there is the uh, chrome pieces, silver, whatever, the spacers that I had to put on. Because, again, it's wider than the truck. My concern is the outside edge, which I'll tell you isn't perfect, but it's, uh, it's close enough for who did it. Uh, so anyway, got that done. There is one more piece that we have to do, the crown jewel of, uh, of my sport bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. I'll show you what it is in just a second. It is completely finished, except for the little touch-ups, you know, of the nuts and bolts and whatever that's shining through in silver. Uh, but the finishing touch is on. Can you see what it is? I'll give you just a second. Okay, there was two seconds. Uh, if you didn't catch it, Ah, uh, it's right here. It's of course the orange, orange black horse backing. Uh, you can change this. It's just a plate that fits on. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but it's just a plate that fits on right back here. And you can change it to whatever you want. I painted mine orange, of course, to go with the orange theme I'm going with on the truck. It's pretty subtle. I mean, unless you're looking for it, it doesn't jump right out and grab you. Hopefully it kind of matches the orange in the Rob Motive badge I put up there. And there's a little more orange to come on the outside, although I will say it's going to be subtle. I'm not looking for a beaming orange truck driving down the road. Uh, but that's the finishing touch. I think it looks awesome. I love it. Anyway, that's it. That's the Sport Bar install on an SR5 2021 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you like it on this truck? If you've been following the channel, then no doubt you would seen it on the other truck, my Voodoo Blue. What do you think? Leave a comment. Let me know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.